Hi everyone and welcome to the Hair Loss Show. In today's episode we're going to discuss a topic called traction alopecia. So stick around. Welcome to the Hair Loss Show. Dr. Russell Knudsen and Dr. Vikram Jayaprakash discuss issues relating to hair loss and the medical and surgical treatment of hair loss in both men and women. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Vikram Jayaprakash and welcome back to the Hair Loss Show. So, traction alopecia, I had a, had a patient today that was asking me about this and that's why I sort of prompted the thought of actually making an episode on this particular topic. And the question was, well, you know, does tying my hair uh, affect hair loss? Is it going to make me go bald? And so I thought I'd uh, talk about this uh, phenomenon that we can see called traction alopecia. It's very different to the sort of androgenic alopecia that we, we commonly talk about or we commonly see in society. So uh, that sort of alopecia is genetically mediated. There's a hormonal component uh, associated with that. That's different to this. Traction alopecia is when you tie your hair back and you generally have to apply a significant amount of pressure and over time what will happen is uh, you will lose those hairs and they won't grow back. So the things that I want to say about that is that first of all if you tie your hair really tight today you're not going to lose the hair so it doesn't happen in a very short term uh, time frame. You have to be doing this regularly over many months or years to experience this. Secondly, you actually have to apply a significant amount, a significant amount of force. So when you people that really tie their hair tight in a ponytail or get uh, braids done or uh, dreadlocks done, the, the actual weight of those can cause enough traction uh, to result in this traction alopecia. Now traction alopecia presents very differently uh, to uh, androgenic alopecia. The distribution is generally at the front or where the, the greatest degree of force actually is. We see it in a lot of uh, culturally in certain communities, people that wear turbans, uh, the, the method at which they tie their hair is also commonly seen there as well. And what you get is a, uh, a movement of the hairline uh, further back in an almost unnatural distribution. N uh, unlike um, male pattern hair loss or androgenic alopecia where you get hair loss uh, in a sort of a wing type recession in the front, this doesn't present that way. There's a more uh, unnatural look to the hairline. And we think that one of the mechanisms by which this happens is by that the force that which is applied to the root of the hair constricts the blood flow and over time uh, causes the hairs to fall out and uh, they won't grow back. So how do you treat it? Well, generally speaking, first of all, you've got to uh, remove the uh, insult first. So you've got to stop tying your hair back as tight. Uh, but if the, you're still left with a hairline that is not appropriate or you're not happy with, then really the best way to manage this is with hair transplant. And you can transplant into that uh, area without any problem, provided you're not going to start tying it back up again, because that would, wouldn't be great. But you can transplant into that area, those hairs will go great, and you can get a natural looking hairline again. So I hope that answers the question about uh, traction alopecia. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode. Take care.